Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live and I am just out here on my Facebook page just double checking that I'm live where I want to be and um, setting it up so that I can see you your comments on the video so if you want to hang on just one second I will make sure that I am good to go which it looks like I am so if you're joining if you want to pop in and say hello that would be awesome and if not feel free to keep an eye on what we're doing over here and um, or if you're catching the replay that's fine too so happy to have you watch the video no matter what so today i'm going to show you real quickly how i made a card with the uh, memories and more hey mary yay you glad you got on hi suzanne thanks for joining today i see amy's here too so thank you thank you thank you for hopping in and watching today so um today i'm going to show you a card actually i think i may show you two cards that i made with um this uh the night before christmas memories of more card pack cards and uh, hey denise hi barbara thanks for joining um, so this is the Night Before Christmas designer, six inch by six inch designer series paper that's the background, and the Night Before Christmas uh, card pack cards that I used for the actual sentiment on here. So, uh, hey Carol, thanks for joining. Before I jump in and show you the card, I just wanted to remind you of a couple things. I posted this on my blog this morning, um, but if you haven't had a chance to look at it yet, the Everything is Rosy product suite. Um, timing is perfect since uh, you just ordered that set. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> so it's a good, it's a really good um, suite of products. So definitely, definitely worth looking at. So, all right. So um, hey, Diane, thanks for joining. And Cherry Cobbler is one of my favorite colors, especially for the holidays. So, all right. So uh, back to this. Everything is Rosy. Uh, the product medley is actually on the clearance rack for 15% off right now. So if it's something that you did not get earlier in the year and are interested in getting it, it's on sale. So that's always an awesome bonus. Um, I did put a link to this out on my Facebook page earlier. So if you haven't seen it, go take a look at it. Um, it's also out on my blog today. So um, hey, Deborah, I'm glad you caught me live too. <clears throat> Although now you have to listen to all the hacking and stuff because this cold is just hanging on. I don't know, I guess as I get old, <laughs> that happens. So, all right. So anyway, so if you have questions about the Everything is Rosy product suite, what's in it, um, anything like that, let me know. Um, but it's a really, really pretty suite of products and it's available. You can get it for 15% off now. So it's um, $68 instead of the normal 80 that it was. So definitely a good deal. And there's a, it's a huge bunch of products in there. Um, the next thing, just wanted to remind you real quickly that the Christmas time is here. Product Suite is also coming on November 1st. It's available now for demonstrators to order, but um, customers will be able to get it on November 1st. It's got a really pretty pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper, a bracelet, um, some dies, and a stamp set, and some pretty gold glitter dots and gold ribbon. Um, it's available as a big bundle for $112.50. Um, otherwise, you can get the individual pieces or get just the stamp set bundle, which has got um, two stamp cases, basically. Uh, it's all designed to work together. And then the dies that go with it. So that's bundled for 10% off. Or you can get just the stamp set, which is also very, very pretty. Um, and again, these are designed to work together and coordinate. The, this You stamp the outline and image, and then you can stamp the... Um, softer images over the top the fill-in images so that is designed they're obviously designed to work together um, and then here are the details about the bracelets the designer shares paper the dies the ribbon and the gold glitter enamel dots that are all coming so all right um if you have questions about that let me know but i agree that christmas time is here product suite is absolutely stunning it's one of my favorite things I kind of wish it was in the holiday catalog so we had a little more time so that everybody could get it. But it's awesome. So get it when it's available. And it's only while supplies last. So I think it will probably sell out. That's my guess. Anyway. <laughs> so, all right. So um, real quickly, I'm going to get started on the card. Before I do, if you haven't seen um, the Memories and More card packs, the Night Before Christmas Memories and More card pack, it's a really good pack of cards. It's got a stack of three by four cards in it. Um, and these have got some sentiments. Generally, it's sentiments on one side and then a uh, designed image on the other. Like this one's got the Santa image and then the little polka dots. And then this one's got male image on it. And then the, you know, so it's usually it's a sentiment on one side and then just um, a general image on the other side. So, um, so these are good. These are great cards. They're good for memory keeping, but they're also really good for making cards and they make really simple cards so that's the best part you know i love making easy cards making it easy <laughs> on us especially for the holidays um and then there are also four by six cards that are in this pack and again they generally have a sentiment on one side and then a design of some sort on the other <clears throat> so we've got this one and then that's on the opposite side and then we have this one 
and then it's got a little tag image on the other side and then there's some coordinating stickers that go along with it a couple sheets of stickers so it's really a good card pack um, if you haven't seen it haven't got it yet I would say definitely get your hands on that one I like it a lot um, and there's also a coordinating set of uh, card bases that goes with it that they're pre-printed and they have envelopes with them and they're really awesome so it makes super super simple cards and they're really pretty all right so back to our card so today <coughs> excuse me I'm going to get started. I've got um, all the cardstock cuts will be out on my blog tomorrow, but um, just as I'm going along, I'll try to remember to say them, but I don't always. So I've got some of the Night Before Christmas 6 inch by 6 inch designer series paper that I've cut down to 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. And um, the Santa hats are really cute. I actually almost did a card with the Santa hats, but I don't know. I, <laughs> I stopped myself and decided I'd do polka dots instead. Um, and I'm going to adhere that to a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock that has been cut to um, three and three quarters by five. Just use a little snail to adhere the two together. And Roz says she just got home a little while ago and glad she's catching me live too. So, all right. And then we're going to use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere this to a cherry cobbler card base. And I don't know if you can see it very well on the screen, but I have a little owie on my finger and I'm I'm being, it's a couple days ago I cut it and it's one of those where every time I hit it on something <laughs> it's like you know so anyway so it hurts a little <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it out of the way and you know not hit it on anything I can still definitely use the finger it's just one of those things that you know it's, it's a silly little cut and I don't know why it hurts so bad but it does it's, you know I don't even know how I got it <laughs> that's the funny thing so I'm not even sure what I did to injure myself but um, all right so the next thing I've got up here is the actual uh, sentiment that I pulled from the Memories and More card pack and I'm using one of the stitched shapes dies and it's the big circle one that I'm using and I went ahead and put a little bit this is post-it note tape which works really well um, when you're doing die cutting to hold things in place if it needs to be a little bit more precise um, so I use that a lot um, on things like this where I want to um, place it on here ahead of time um, and make sure that I have have it lined up well. This die is actually goes just about to the edge of the card, so I want to make sure sure that I've got it lined up well. So that's why I actually use the post-it note tape on this, just to hold it in place. So, hey Patricia, thanks for joining. So I've got a little post-it note tape on here. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine here, off to the side. Um, so hopefully I won't wiggle the screen too much. I probably did and bang things together so all right so we just got the die cut all done here I'm gonna set that aside and then I went ahead and pre-cut this is just um, a, the largest of the layering circles dies and it's just the largest scalloped one <clears throat> and it fits really nicely around the stitched shapes die which is a nice little bonus and it's cut from um, very vanilla cardstock I'm just gonna use a little bit of snail to adhere the pieces together here or a lot of snail because you know a lot is always better than a little. <laughs> so, all right, adhere the two pieces together, got that on there, and then we're gonna use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals because, you know, I, I don't know, it's pretty rare when I make a card with no Stampin' Dimensionals on it. Every once in a while I do it, but not usually. I usually do quite a few Dimensionals on mine, although they're cut in half, so, because I'm cheap. <laughs> so let's get the backing peeled off those. And then we're going to go ahead and adhere this onto the card front, which I'll hopefully get it centered and straight. That's usually my goal. All right, I think I did it. Um, and then I pre-cut a couple little jingle bells from the with the um, detailed bells dies, which oh, they're over here in my stack. I'll show you real quickly. Um, this is a set of dies that goes with the bells are ringing. Um, Stamp said it's bundled for 10% off. Hey, Nancy, thanks for joining. No worries on being late. So um, it's bundled in uh, the holiday catalog, and you can get it for 10% off. And I used this die and this die, which this is actually two pieces. Hopefully you can see it. But this is the die that I used, and then um, this one to cut out the little jingle bells from gold foil sheets. And I used a couple of um, glue dots to adhere the, the two bells together. So I stuck it on the back and then sort of, because the glue dot was hanging over the open a little bit, I just sort of rolled it so that they stayed, it stayed out of the way. I just didn't want, I didn't want a glue dot goobing, goobing through and looking yucky. So, um, whoop, and I see that, uh, I forgot to poke the little center out of there. There we go. 
That's better. I was going to say I'm going to tie something through here, so we need to make sure that you line up a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfectly aligned, but line up the two holes together. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. Um, and adhere your little jingle bells together. And then I took a little bit of the twine from the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack and just tied a quick bow. Thanks, Andy. I'm glad you like it. So, and Nancy, too. So, And, of course, I can always thread things through small spaces. No problem when I'm sitting here by myself and then I get on video and all of a sudden I can't. I'm blaming it on my little cut on my finger. That's it. It's, that's the reason why I can't thread it. <laughs> I can't tie a nice bow today is because my finger is owie. So, all right, so let's get the bow back down to a little bit nor more normal size. Um, we'll stick this together. I love the bells too. It's a really, it's a good stamp set, a good die set. And it's actually, if you haven't seen it, um, it's actually got some sentiments that can be used for things other than Christmas, which is nice too. So there's some wedding stuff that you can use with it with. And um, so definitely, definitely a good stamp set and a good die set. Um, all I'm doing right now is just adding a couple more glue dots onto the back of the bells. And we're going to adhere those on down here um, to the bottom of the card. And I'm probably going to trim, those are a little bit, little bit longer than they probably need to be. Whoop. So I'm going to trim those down just a little. And um, that's it for the card front. So super simple. Get this stuff out of the way here a little bit. Um, so hopefully you can see it all right. So, yep, that's it. So way, way easy, which I love. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't even know what I did. That's the worst thing. Is I can't even stop myself from doing it again because I don't even know how I did it. <laughs> I don't know if I cut it on paper or a knife or who knows. Anyway, um, so all right. So I am stamping on the inside of the card. This is sentiment is from the Bells Are Ringing stamp set, which again is bundled with the, the um, detailed Bells dies for 10% off in the holiday catalog right now so again if this is something that's interesting to you then definitely get it and get it early so um let me set that aside here and got a little cherry cobbler ink that we're going to ink up the image with and got some um very vanilla cardstock that i'm stamping it on and the cardstock is cut to uh four by five and a quarter so that's it for the sentiment on the inside. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of the designer series paper. Um, this is a little bit of the same polka dot paper that I used on the card front um, from the night before Christmas. Six by six designer series paper pack. And then trim down the little overhang here. And then hopefully the sentiment looks like it's dry. I'm afraid it would smudge if I put it down. And little bit of snail on the back and you know what I see I left my ink pad open and that is like a recipe for disaster for Amy <laughs> I would have stuck my card right in it so all right we're just gonna adhere this to the inside and that is all there is to this card um, I actually have a second one prepped here and ready to go. If you are interested in taking a look at it, I will go ahead and do that card as well. Um, since this one was pretty simple, it's another one with the memories of more card pack cards. Um, so hopefully you like this. Like I said, it, it was really easy and it came together really quickly. Um, so definitely a good die set, good bundle, and the memories of more card pack cards are really awesome. So. All right, so if you're ready to watch the next one, um, for this one, I actually made the, the background a little bit bigger because we're going to use a little different shape when we do the um, die cutting on the, the sentiment piece. So this, again, is from the Night Before Christmas 6x6 um, Designer Series Paper Pack. And um, this is cut to 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. And then I've got Cherry Cobbler cardstock, and that is cut to 4 inches by 5 and a quarter. And again, all the details will be out on my blog tomorrow, so don't worry about writing down the, the cardstock cuts or anything right now. So I'll put it all out there and you can take a look at it tomorrow. So using a little bit of snail to adhere the two pieces together. So hopefully I will get this on here fairly straight. All right, and then again, I'm gonna use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere the little card front to the front of a Cherry Cobbler card base. Oh, thanks, Patricia. I appreciate that. So, and I'm glad that you like it, Roz. Hey, Lisa, I see that you hopped in too. So, thanks for joining today, and hopefully, y'all are having a good day. We uh, 
have some, it's, it's, you know, the weather's been decent up here, so I'm not going to say it's awesome because it's been a little rainy and cooler, but it's definitely fall weather, which I love. So I am not complaining one bit. I am not a person who loves the heat. <laughs> so, all right. So for this one, I use a little different sentiment and I'm also using a little different dye because the, um, the round one wouldn't fit very well around this. Well, it would have fit around it, but it would have chopped the gift off, which I liked the gift on it. So that is why I've I left it and did it with a rectangle die for, with one of the stitched rectangles dies. And again, just using a little bit of that post-it note tape. Um, of course, no, it doesn't want to stick probably because I used it. Um, there we go. Hopefully, yep, that seems like it's stuck. And this is exactly why I flip it over and double check because I actually would have cut it all crooked and crazy and then have um, edges stick in that I didn't want stuck. So. That's why the post-it note tape comes in handy, which of course now I can't get it to stay on it because I'm live on camera. I swear it worked before, <laughs> as always. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it like that, and then it should stay. All right, so we've got everything lined up and ready to roll, and I'm gonna run it through the big shot, so give me one second over here. I'll try not to bump the screen around too much. All right. So there we go. We've got it all cut with our um, stitch rectangle die. We should be set to go. And the post-it note tape that I wrapped around the back peels right off. Although it wouldn't really matter because you can't see it anyway. But if you don't want it on the back of there, you can peel it right off. And then we're going to adhere, adhere this together um, to a piece of old olive cardstock. Um, Ross says she bought this card kit for her daughter-in-law and lives um, and loves to be crafty and has a two-year-old baby. It is perfect for people who don't have a lot of time. It's you know they're the card pack is really it's good <laughs> and it makes cards really really super easy. So um, and you don't even have to use the dies with it. You know I just did because I like the little bit of extra that it added. But you really don't even need to do it. You can just stick the layer the pieces together and you're all set. So we've got that layered on a little bit of old olive cardstock, and um, I'm going to use again a couple stamp of dimensionals to adhere this onto the card front. Get the last one of those off, and then just going to layer it over the card front like I did the last one. Um, for this one, I didn't feel like just because it had, you know, the gifts are all over the background and has a larger gift on here. I didn't feel like it needed anything additional on it. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably add in one of the sticker pieces. Um, of course, I used that one. Uh, one of the sticker pieces here. Uh, maybe this little gift or something like that. Or you could take a piece of holly and stick it on here. Um, whatever, their the stars, their candy canes, anything like that. So you definitely could add a little bit more to it if you felt like it needed something. But I felt like this was sort of had enough on it, so I kind of stopped with it right there. And then again, I'm going to use that same sentiment on the inside and a little bit of cherry cobbler ink. And we'll stamp it. Hopefully, I'll get it straight. And again, I'm going to close up the ink pad before I stick something in it. Now, Barbara's saying she loves the card packs, too. They are good. I really, like I said, they make super simple cards, and they're, they're really pretty. The ones from the annual catalog, there are some really good ones in there, too. So if you haven't tried them out yet, definitely do. So, And then we've got um, a little bit of the Designer Series paper. Again, the Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper. That Just a little strip of that that um, was left over from trimming the front. I adhered it on here, so perfect for a beginner class or seniors. Yep, definitely. So, you know, it's like I said, the card packs are some of my favorite things. So, all right, and then we're just going to add a little bit of snail on the back. And we'll adhere it on the inside. And then do a little quick crease on here with the bone folder. And that's it. So we've got um, 
did three different cards basically. Two of them are the same, obviously, but um, did one different. And again, there are all sorts of sentiments in that um, Memories and More card pack. So you can pick the ones that you like the best and make cards with them, or you can make all of them, you know, turn them all into cards, whatever. They're super simple, um, just a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to use. So thanks so much for joining me today. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything. Again, the details will be posted on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. And um, I hope that you all have a good rest of your Tuesday, and I uh, will plan to chat with you again. Uh, hopefully this new time at 1 o'clock works. This is going to be moving forward. I'm planning to do 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Now that the kids are back in school, the 1 o'clock time frame works a little bit better for me than it did um, before lunch. So uh, thank you so much for joining today, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, and we'll chat with you next week Tuesday.